that's not a great start to the day. I've pulled off the A591, which is one of the main roads in the Lake District. Northern Lake District is where I am at the moment. Uh, I'm onto a B road, uh, heading to my intended uh, destination or parking space, uh, which is a, a farm. I drove down the road and it's the sheet ice, patches of ice everywhere. We're looking at what minus five at the moment and it dipped, it dipped and I thought I'm not going to get down there and there's no way I'm going to get back up because it's forecasted to remain similar sort of conditions throughout the day. So I've literally parked about one half kilometres uh, away from my uh, intended destination because there's a little car park space back there. I didn't want to take the risk. It's gonna, it's just gonna add what three k to my intended route today. But I tell you what, I shouldn't stop morning. Beautiful conditions. I've just missed sunrise. Just see it. Beautiful stuff. So I'm back in the Northern Fells, starting from Peter House Farm then joining the Cumbrian Way, heading east and with a gradual climb up the valley with dead crags on the right hand side. Continue onto the path until I come to a path that leads southwest up Burkett Edge and eventually get into Bakestall for my first wear night of the day. I head back to the Cumbrian Way following the same route that I came up before heading north east up Dry Gill. Following the post line east, heading to Little Calver and eventually Great Calver, my second way ride. The plan route was then to head southwest from Great Calver and back on to the Cumbrian Way until rejoining the return route back to the car. So a short hike to where I was intended to be. That's the path there. That's the start of the Cumbrian Way. Oh, love a little path that leads you up to the valley. The light is all around me towards Bassenthwaite. Still keeping my eye open, trying to pick things off, looking for opportunities. Oh, it's freezing. Wow, what a day. Apparently we had, I say we, the Lake District had quite a big dump, snow dump, uh, yesterday. And high winds. Today it's, well, it's the aftermath as it were, but in a really, really nice way. Out any breeze. The snow is obviously still here. I reckon the best of the snow is above 600, 700 metres. I'm not climbing the eye today, but the light is beautiful. Now, I know at the end, sorry, I know I said to myself on my last video that my photograph opportunity photographic opportunities were at their best at the start and at the end as I was coming down off the fells so I'm just looking around taking advantage here sheep just models you've got bits of light just kissing the tips some nice trees over there bathing light so just zooming in isolating things oh, I really should get a crack on that so still walking in the shadow of the light. Oh, there's the light. Uh, yeah, I'm about to join a lovely little valley. Now it's good, I find, to um, see the fells which you've recently done, but in different conditions. There. That is great cock up. Yeah, I didn't quite do it. I would have done it if I wasn't with my little lad, but he comes first. So that's great cock up. Little cock up there. And that there. It's cock up. 
not sure what the uh, connection is with all these cock ups. What here, here? Something to think about. Dead crag, dead crags. Right inside there. Okay, there's lots of um, water retained on the path, and of course, what freezes becomes ice, believe it or not. So, again, I'm going to take precautions. I brought with me, I'd say, one of the best things I've bought actually for my hiking experiences, and those are micro spikes. So, I'm going to put them on, will make walking a lot easier, a lot more enjoyable. Uh, and that coupled with my new boots. I didn't have a choice. As I showed in my last video, the soles were coming apart and the old ones, there was holes in the leather, the leather was cracked. Uh, so yeah, kept with the same model, Scarpa GTX. Why not? Right, let's get these spikes on. Lovely waterfall, that's white water dash. Quite a lot of rain lately. Obviously added to the overnight snow. Um, it's actually frozen. It was obviously frozen icicles at the side of it, but yeah, lovely stuff. Um, when I come back down from Bakestall, so I'm nearly one more to there. Bakestall's there. So when I come back from Bakestone, I'm going to um, climb up uh, Dry Gill and that'll take me on to Little Carver, then Great Carver. Then from down there, descend back onto this path. Lovely path this, Cumbrian Way. But yeah, we're nearly at the light. Once I start ascending to Bakestone, we'll see some sun. Bring it on. Makes so much difference. It's a bit of sun. No clouds in the sky. He says, he's right. No clouds in the sky. Completely blue. Which is good. I love blue skies because they're so good with black and white. Just help to simplify the image. Plus, you can really get to work in post process with blue skies can really bring it down make it look really eerie and moody <sighs> yeah, all this stuff this is tough the snow, the ice does still make it difficult on the foot it drains a lot of energy despite me having spikes on but without spikes it's Nigh, nigh on impossible. Uh, Big still is in sight. Look at these views. Up there in the middle is Great Calva. That's my second win, right? Um, yeah, I tell you what, it's going to be a lot easier coming down. A lot easier but oh god important to stop and take take food in i've just had a energy bar you would have thought it would you you would have thought i dropped it or something there i am but i'm probably still getting over christmas bad excuse that was three weeks ago break still at last it's getting quite difficult because each step I sink through the frosted surface and so it's taking it's taking up a, a lot of energy to be honest and there we go the beautiful skier
just zooming into the distance. Try to see that what stands out. There is the wind farm. It stands in the middle of the Solway Firth. Could do with a background, do you know? How inconvenient. Some distant mountains, snow caps into Scotland. Wind turbines. What's grabbed my attention is just some simple diagonals created by the shadows of the uh, fells. I believe uh, Little Scar Fell, Great Scar Fell, and Great Cock Up, maybe Meal Fell as well, which me and our lad did last week. So I might just build up a bit of a square with this. Good thing though, good thing this time with the long lens with the 100 to 400 it's the first day a decent light so I'm getting really fast shutter speeds I mean I'm down to 100 ISO 3 20th of a second up to 7.1 so as expected the descent from Berkstow was a lot easier I applied the uh, slidey technique right so I'm just about to start my scent of dry gill uh, which will then eventually take me on to Little Calva um, I'm leaving the Cumbrian Way this is where I'll be coming back I think that's the path that's the path I think so, so we're way back I'll be coming down there right, we're in the shade but now we're in the sun again Whoa, it's taking a breather. That's steep. Up a dry gill. I didn't I didn't follow the actual gill itself. The ziggy zaggy ravine. Uh, just up to the right hand side of the fence post. That's pretty much what I need to do to continue up to a little car with a great car with a little ravine here. Fresh snow as well. Yeah. Oh it's hard work. Actually overheating. Took the hood off, gloves are off. Oof. Plenty of mini stops as well on the way. This is tough, really tough. Basically, every step I'm sinking about six inches. Of course, that saps your energy because it, it takes energy to lift your foot back up again and again each step. Um, None of it is treaded, so I'm the first since we've had a dump. <sighs> Not more than that. Nearly there. Great carver. Basically, follow the fence all along. This eventually will take me to Little Carver and continue to follow the fence up to Great Carver. Carver. I'm not good. Great Calva, highest part of the day. Oh, wind's picked up as well. Wow, that wind chill. Okay, I'm not going to hang around here. Right, I'm going to head south. Is it south? I think it's south, yeah. Head south down towards Skeeter House and then join the Cumbrian Way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was hard work. Light. I reckon what it's about, what is it, about half two I think, I won't check, about half two, three, so about an hour and a half left of light. So, see what we can do in terms of more photography, but to fair, I've got a fair few in the bag, so fairly pleased uh, with what I've got. Um, but right, okay, I need to go. So that right there is Skidder House. I'm not going to head directly to that. Uh, instead I've chosen a route which is basically off country heading south back on the Cumbrian Way so it's not it's not part of the plan. Hard work but on a day like this and conditions like this I bet the designated path wasn't in 
wasn't any easier to be honest. It's basically all about sinking six inches <laughs> each footstep. If it's not each footstep, it's every about five or something like that, so it takes it by surprise. Um, yeah, it's it's injury sapping, and that's what it's been today. But enjoying the last of the light, I'm going to walk back in the shadow, probably yeah, all the way back to my car. It's a fair old hike from there, uh, from where I am or where I will be, the back of the car. Um, so I will wish you farewell. Take good care of yourself. Keep smiling. It's been a fabulous. Fabulous hiking day. What conditions. From one extreme to the other, I tell you. But today has been all about the light. Some lovely ferns there. All about the light. And it's grabbing things like that. Not thinking too much about it. Just got an instinct. Thought, yeah, that's that work. Let's just get it snapped. That's how I work. That's why rock and roll. Right, okay. So last of the light, that's going to be, it's going to dip below a uh, little man any minute now. It was quite a relief to finally get back to the Cumbrian Way. And although it was icy, walking conditions were much improved. I didn't realise at the time that by heading more of a southern descent, I actually added extra distance to the hike. Not a great problem though given the lovely final light that I witnessed. Though not my usual photography style, it would have been wrong not to capture some of this golden light before eventually getting back to the car and a much relieved rest. Mm -hmm.